What is up YouTube? So today, Merry Christmas and July. So we got the Christmas tree up in July still, but today we're gonna do a little painting series and uh, paint all the furniture. So it's not technically Christmas, but we're almost there. Just figured uh, I'd throw something out there like that since the Christmas tree is still up in July but as you can see we have it all taped off uh, kind of ghetto but we're gonna be painting furniture like this and uh, this should do they so come over to this end and um, we got the Graco painter plus the Magnum series and um, they have a few other ones like how Wagner has their handheld uh, the issue with those is they spit a lot so I wanted to get something for roughly around 200 bucks, depending on where you get this. This one came from Amazon. Uh, you get a three year additional warranty on top of the year warranty, which only costs 10 more dollars. So that's a big plus. They had the X5 series, which is uh, a little bit uh, bigger. So instead of three eighths horsepower, it's actually um, half horsepower and a 75 foot uh, tube uh, roll instead of a, I think this one is 50 foot um, so you need the extra power to kind of push it through the tube but this one's good for a DIYer and uh, this the reason why I didn't get the um, or didn't look into the the Wagner and the smaller series is the Wagner one that's similar to this was only 1600 psi and this one's shooting at 2800 psi um, so of course it's more of a, a professional series and it's about the same price if not the Wagner's a little bit more for some reason um, so pick this one up and on top of that the handheld ones the ones with just the the motor attached to the gun those ones actually don't do too good because when you spray it they spit because of course you're not gonna mount a motor like this onto a, a handheld gun it's just uh, too big and be too heavy so we're gonna get this set up and uh, run you through the process of, the, of this and uh, get to painting and see if it's worth purchasing this or if it was just easier to paint it by hand. So let's get to it. Okay, so first things first is of course you plug everything in and screw this off of the, your hose fitting. So this is a water hose fitting. Pop this away, okay? And then you wanna screw on, either screw this directly onto here or you could fill up the bucket. So what I'm going to end up doing is, after taking this off, of course, I'm going to probably fill up the bucket just so that way I could show you how everything mixes. Okay, so of course I filled up both buckets. And the reason for that is not because you have to, but because I didn't want uh, none of the fluids in here that I'm going to dispense into the other bucket to stick onto the bucket. So I filled them both up. Um, this one's about halfway and this one's down to about an eighth of the way full so what you have to end up doing is grab so you could take it off here which I'm gonna do so grab this and stick it into the bucket uh, so this one goes into the bucket with the water and then this one goes into the return bucket uh, that has nothing in it and the reason for that is if you look here closely so if you come down here you could see that there's some fluid in there and that's to keep it from seizing the internals uh, for storage purposes so they give you some solution to put back in there and all it is is a bottle about that big you take this off and then you uh, have like this little adapter that you plug in there and you squeeze it and fill up the, the reservoir in here um, so for this gun here, uh, if it's in this direction here with the arrow pointing this way, that's in spray mode. If you turn it, 
this way with the little notch facing forward that's to um, blow out whatever's in there uh, to clear it uh, so this is the position that we're going to want it in right now and we put it in the start position and this lever has to be facing up so this lever this lever c has to be facing uh, straight out like that okay from there i believe we just turn it on and you'll see it's starting to suck it up So as you can see it's sucking it up and uh, dispersing or dispensing the water into the, the uh, drain bucket. So we got to let this run for about uh, 30 seconds to a minute and uh, let it get all the contaminants out the, or the oils that they put in there. So we'll let that run for a little bit. So it's been roughly about 30 seconds and as you could see the bucket is empty it actually sucked it down pretty quick um, so you would use the same concept when you're actually gonna clean it out or you like I said you could attach the water hose to it okay so while doing this uh, when we primed the system the first time what we should have did was Technically, we probably should have left this on just so no contaminants got in there. Uh, but these are brand new buckets, so it didn't really matter. Uh, but make sure it's on all the way. Now, to get your uh, paint to suck up in here, make sure you mix your paint well. So this was just shook last night, but we got to make sure that it's fully uh, mixed or else the color won't come out good. So. And then also, uh, prep is a big thing. Uh, make sure you prep all your work before you're spraying it. Uh, because if you don't prep it good, your, paint's, your, paint, uh, your actual finish on your paint won't come out as good either. And the reason for that is because you got to sand it, scuff the old paint to make sure this stuff sticks. And also so you don't get over spray on your, your uh, whatever it is you're painting. Also, when you're done painting, what you can do is, of course, hook the water hose up to here or put it in the buckets again and do the same priming method, um, as well as the same method we're going to do to get the paint into the gun. Uh, so I'll show you what that consists of, but you repeat that same process uh, and flush water through it. After you flush water through it, you want to flush mineral spirits through it the same way, so that way it uh, cleans out your gun fully. And then after you do the mineral spirits, of course you can run water through it again and then uh, put in that, that stuff that comes with the machine. It comes in a bottle, it's blue, the same stuff we flushed out. Hook it up to here with the nozzle, squeeze it and fill it up in, into all your valves. And that's just to stow it away if, if you're not going to use it for a couple days. Um, or if you're just going to store it, you're going to do that. Okay, so once we get it all stirred up, what we want to do is, of course, get it in the paint gun. So, and then, what you want to do is put this in, into the bucket, just like that. And then you want to put this one into the bucket here. I put a little bit of water in there so that way it doesn't stick to my bucket. Uh, that's just something I do or I'm going to do. You flip, you leave this up in the, the flat position facing that way. Um, you should have never put it down because we got to prime it. So you just turn it on. Uh, leave it in the start position still because you're priming it. Let it suck through. So as you can see, it's sucking through. And 
then you turn it off. Now it's primed. Now you put it in the down position, and then you want to turn this all the way to low. Okay. So from there, you want to reconnect this to here. Okay. So we want to reconnect it. Now, spray the pail of paint. Turn it all the way to low in this position for your spray. And then make sure this is un in the unclogged position. Let's tighten that. Make sure it's in the unclogged position with the little notch facing forward. Uh, I'm gonna turn mine sideways because that's the paint pattern I'm gonna want. I'm gonna want it to spray this way. And then we turn it on, hold it over this bucket, and then pull the trigger. So as you can see, a stream comes out. I don't know if that was correct, but what I ended up having to do was, in order to get it to shoot, I had to push it, put it in the start, uh, into the start position. But it said to turn it all the way down, so I don't know. Um, we'll leave it in the start position for now and get our you know what, we'll turn it this way. We want to turn this back to this painting uh, position. So that's facing forward. And then uh, empty out a bucket and clean this up. So make sure that you don't have over an eighth water in there if you decide to put water in there because of course it's splattered. So. Okay, so I didn't look into this fully, but what I noticed was this has a roller on it. So maybe this is for a roller feature or function. And then from here where it says start forward, this is has a little spray nozzle on it. Um, so I guess they might have a roller attachment for this hose. Uh, so what I did was start at the start. So maybe that's what they mean by the lowest position when you uh, spray it to get it primed into the hose. And then of course you could turn it all the way up to maximum. And this is just how many times this machine will pump as it's spraying so we'll start with the low feed so that way we don't get no overspray or it's very minimal and then go from there and then get that painted see what happens okay we'll start by painting these drawers real quick to see how it uh One thing I like about this sprayer, like right off the bat, is the coverage of it is like instant. Like I sprayed it and it's pretty much already done. Um, you have to play around with the settings, but this is on like about an eighth to the low position. And they already painted the whole thing. Uh, you want to keep 12 inches or more away from your project. Um, other than that, it was really fast actually uh, I didn't expect it to be so fast um, so I'll just finish spraying everything maybe run a time lapse on this so you can kind of see the coverage of it how fast it's going and uh, definitely this 2800 psi is the way to go over the 1600 psi uh, Wagner or the smaller handheld ones um, for about a hundred dollars or even about the same price, the handheld ones are, the Wagners, they run anywhere from like $69 all the way up to like $200 for the handhelds. But for the same price of 200 bucks, might as well get this one. And of course you could spray a lot bigger uh, items, uh, such as walls and stuff, a lot faster. And uh, the Wagners are just uh, under pressure and you gotta sit there and keep coating over and over. Uh, a lot of people have complaints about that. And uh, as you can see, this is a professional series and it's a lot faster. It's well worth the money. So let's get to finishing up this project and uh, finish it up and be done with it.
because it's a hundred and something degrees out here. Little black submarines operate a plea. Put me back on the line Told my girl I'd be back I parade her please This is wrecking my mind Oh, can it be The voice is calling me They get lost and out of time should have seen it glow But everybody knows That a broken heart is blind That a broken heart is blind Pick you up, let you down Where I wanna go To a place I can As you can see, we got overspray, but that was because we lined up a whole bunch, cross one in, and uh, this is what we painted so far. So as you can see, the finish is good. Um, we have a little bit of minor bumps in here, only because that's just a uh, failure to sand properly. And uh, also you got brush strokes because it was painted before with a hand brush. But as you can see, the ones that weren't painted with the brush before, they're really smooth. This one's wet, this one's wet. It's kind of splotchy only because it's drying in the sun. So once it's done, it'll look like this. So if you, if you did spray it, uh, if you did brush it before you sprayed it at one point, you want to make sure you get it sand it all the way down because as you can see it bled through the strokes and that's uh, that was uh, kind of a given because um, the brush lays down a thicker layer of paint but other than that these other ones came out good because we didn't get that far um, I'll run you a little sequence on how to uh, clean it out um, I will not put that stuff in only because I'm gonna spray more I'll show you how to clean it out and run a little time lapse on that. Um, it's everything we did to prime it just in, with water uh, instead of paint and stuff. And that'll complete this how to video. Um, definitely, I recommend that painter. Uh, this whole thing probably got done in an hour. It, not even an hour, maybe like 30 minutes. Uh, it took an hour because we had to tape everything up and sand it. So it took a little bit longer than expected. Um, but I mean once it's everything's already prepped spraying it's really fast like maybe a couple minutes like maybe a minute or two minutes per part so so maybe we got one two three four five six seven eight nine maybe like 10 15 minutes uh, to paint all these at once um, and then the rest of the time was prepping it so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more video and other content I'll be posting, definitely hit that subscribe button. Until next time, see you in the next one. Okay, so to clean your gun, of course, we got the clean water, the dump pail, and then we want to prime it and turn it on. So at this point, once it's primed, then you want to dump it into this bucket again. So that way it sucks it up and then you can run it through your sprayer. Um, so what we're going to do is run it through our sprayer. Ideally what you want to do is you want to uh, use warm water 
if possible, just so I could flush it out. Um, also, remember you could hook up the garden hose to it if you want. Um, but for our sake, we'll just do it like this so that way you can see. So at this point, once it's primed the water, you drop down the little lever on the side. Uh, this one doesn't have a priming button, so you're going to have to just flip this little lever here. And then turn it on again, and then uh, go to unclog. So make sure the little cut and arrow is facing that way. And then turn it on and then squeeze the trigger. And then make sure you turn it down on the side uh, to where it says start so that way it doesn't squirt a lot of water at you. And then you just run it through like that to empty it all out. So as you can see on the side of the bucket, now it's shooting out clear. So you know this hose is completely clean. And then of course we want to uh, run mineral, mineral spirits the same way we're doing this, but fill it up with mineral spirits, maybe in a cup or something and run it through. So that way it could break down any uh, contaminants that are left behind. But for now, um, we're just gonna run the water through just to clean it. So, Dump out the bucket and then uh, just keep priming it uh, so that way you could get all the stuff out of here and it just continuously rotates inside the tube and out. So we'll do that. Make sure it's on the start. So I read start. I read start. Of course, we'll kick it out like this, put it back in there, and then we'll run the prime. let that run until it's uh, completely clear so of course to take this apart all you do is unscrew this from the gun so once you unscrew from the gun you can pull straight up on this and then if you look in here there's a little seal and then there's that little piece you can push that out and when you put it back together make sure the little uh, groove is facing this groove so it sits flush and then you can place that back in and then of course push it in and then turn it to the position that you want it to spray out. So that's to unclog it and then that's to spray with a little fan.